What is evolution and why is it so important? Well, evolution plays an important role not only for present day humans, but all living things today. And somehow, I live in a country where only 40% of the people believe that evolution is a thing. It's time to get real, people. Evolution is what makes life possible. It allows organisms to adapt to the environment as it changes. It's responsible for the enormous diversity and complexity of life on Earth. The theory of evolution, however, is the evolution that precisely explains the facts, and the facts are indisputable. So let's see how evolution explains all these facts all so well. First, fossils. The fossil record shows that organisms that lived long ago were different from those that we see today. Sounds obvious, but 200 years ago it seemed a little bit crazy. Next up are homologous structures. The fact that so many organisms share so many finely detailed structures shows us that we are all related. Inside our limbs, we all have the very same structure. One longish bone on top connected by two thin bones of the joint, followed by a cluster of small bones called the carpals, and then our fingers, or digits. We each use our forelimbs for totally different purposes. Bats fly, well, swim, and we use our hands to pick up or throw things. Now when it comes to species that are very similar to each other, their distribution around the world or their biogeography is also explained extraordinarily well by the theory of evolution. Animals that are the most similar and the most closely related tend to be found in the same regions because evolutionary change is partly driven by geographical change. When organisms are isolated by physical barriers like oceans or mountains, they take their own evolutionary courses. The fact is, we've seen evolution take place in our own lifetimes. In 1959, a study of mosquitoes in a village in India found that DDT killed 95% of mosquitoes on the first application. Those that survived reproduced and passed on the genetic resistance to the insecticide, and within a year, DDT was only killing 49% of the mosquitoes and it continued to drop. The genetic makeup of a mosquito population changed because of the selective pressure caused by the use of DDT. So, now after hearing all that about evolution, are you part of that 40%?